welcome back to my channel and um, back to the series on building a food empire. Today I am joined by the brains behind Liberty Cuisine, right? And um, they're going to be talking about their journey, how they got started and just give a bit of tips and insights into their their journey yep. into the food world, right? So would you like to introduce yourselves really quickly? So I'm Kadima and I'm Karima. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Liberty Plant Based and where the idea came from and mm -hmm. how you got started with it. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, well, Liberty Plant Based Cuisine came by, um, by us turning vegan, basically. Okay. Um, so we grew up vegetarian, decided, well, us two decided to turn vegetarian when we were 13, I think it was. Right. And um, just working within the industry, because we've been chefs for 10 years previously, um, it just became a bit difficult, like, yeah. working with me all the time and things like that. Um, I also started to get ill, so that was kind of like the turning point from vegetarian to veganism. Um, so, yeah, we started doing markets on the weekends, <laughs> and people liked it, pretty much. Yeah. Anything on there? No, I think that's it. <laughs> okay. So you said you were working as chefs for 10 years previously. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. A very long time. <laughs> a lot of experience. Was mm -hmm. it difficult? What was your experience of that? Um, a lot of hard work. Yeah. A lot harder than people expect it to be. Because when you first go into it, you just think, it's cooking. I love cooking, so that's all it is, really. But then you realise that you've got a lot of pressure on you to... <laughs> <laughs> the time time restraints, things like that. And, of course, the worst part is the hours. Yeah. Like you can work up to 70 hours a week, which... Oh, my God. Gets a lot. Seriously. <laughs> gets a lot. Especially mm -hmm. in that type of environment. Like. Yeah, high-pressured. Mm -hmm. right. Very, very high-pressured. Yeah. And did you have a lot of control over the food that you were making at the time? Or was there a lot of room for creativity? Or was that something that was lacking would you say definitely lacking okay. like it's more you've got the head chef and you follow what he says to do kind of thing yeah so yeah okay um and then so you were doing that for 10 years but what inspired you to go into food in the first place is it just something you've um, always loved i think it's just like having parents that worked a lot and things like that we were left yeah. to kind of get creative in the kitchen let's say so yeah us two were kind of the ones that were cooking for the family from quite a young age okay um, and then, so then you were doing that for 10 years, obviously, and then at some point you were like, okay, that's it. It's time to, like, just branch out on our own. Mm -hmm. You just you, you just, you yeah, just walked out. Yeah, I literally out. had enough. <laughs> I'd been sick for months on end. Yeah. I was like, they were just putting so much pressure on me to be in work. And yeah. I was like, do you know what? My health comes first. And like, I just had a really bad day at work, and I just walked out mid-service and said, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Well, good on you, like, <laughs> but putting yourself first, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes it's important to do that. Exactly. Yeah. So then, um, <laughs> so you quit your job on the spot. <laughs> then did you quit afterwards? No, I, I stayed You stayed a, a bit, okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so for a couple of months. For a couple of months, she stayed, and she was just at home, like, oh, what should we do? Da, 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 da. Yeah. And then, like, okay, let's try the weekends. We started doing them. Um, we were doing Brixton Vegan Market at the time. Ah, okay. And then Didn't that was that. going well. Yeah. So we were like, oh, let's try Croydon because, well, a couple of years ago, we were like, oh, we're going to do Croydon Market. We decided we were going to do Croydon Market. For some reason, we never did it. So it came back yeah. to us. It was like, oh, let's try it. And then she started doing, what, Fridays? Yeah. Fridays. And mm. then... And when Saturdays that, together. Yeah, yeah, Saturdays together and while Saturdays. I was still working. Okay. And then when that started getting busy... <coughs> Just like, she's like, uh, you need to quit now. Like, <laughs> it's time now. It's time. it's time to make the jump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because otherwise, you if and but for ages. Like, yeah. If she wasn't forced to, she would have been ifing and but for years. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Had to apply a bit of pressure. <laughs> so out of you two, would you say that you're more of the risk taker? I think, of, uh, I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you kind of, you saw it more as a chance to do your own thing and exactly. did you feel confident going into it or uh, did it take time to kind of get confident about no, it? No, it took time to get confident. You we went in there. For long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went in there like, knowing obviously that we could cook but it's so much more than that, isn't it? Like to try and get your name out there and things like that and that's where we were like, okay, we can cook but we need people to see our food, to eat yeah. our food and things like that and then, yeah, slowly but surely we're getting there. Okay, yeah. okay. So, talk me through, I guess, the early days of starting at the market. How was that compared to being in the actual kitchen? Um, Better or I worse? Think <laughs> the freedom 
was a great thing, of course. Like, you yeah. can finally be creative, do what you want to do instead of cooking someone else's recipes, etc. Yeah. like that. But I think the biggest worry is a financial worry. Like, okay. going from full time, knowing you've got a Pacific income coming in, to all of a sudden, like, if you don't work and if you don't perform, then you ain't going to get no money, kind of thing. Mm. So I think that's the biggest challenge. But yeah, it's definitely a weight lift is on your shoulders when you finally do for yourself and you see yeah. it progressing. Like, yeah. Something okay. to be proud of. Nice. <laughs> nice. What was what would you say was the biggest encouragement that came from going out on your own? Was it the feedback you were getting from people? Like people yeah. saying they loved your food? I think that's the best thing, knowing yeah. that yeah, actually people appreciate what you're doing. Because yeah. you can cook for yourself and tell yourself your food's amazing. Yeah. And like, <laughs> when <laughs> people, yeah. But when other people see it and see the passion and the love that goes into it, like it's just yeah, it's an amazing feeling, definitely. Yeah. So what would you say are your signature dishes at the moment that signature people keep coming back for? Uh, I don't know, you know. Because we, ch- we change so often our menu. Okay. We change our menu weekly. I think the favourites yeah. are, though, there has to be a jackfruit. It's a love or hate. Like, our customers, like, it's one of <laughs> ones. Jackfruit is a love or hate thing, I think, personally. Yeah. But there are so many people that, have you got jackfruit, guys? Have you got jackfruit, guys? Have you got jackfruit, guys? If we don't have it on, they're upset. So we do, like, curry jackfruit, okay. um, brown stew jackfruit, and also jerk jackfruit, which goes down quite well. Nice. Mm-hmm. I'm always seeing the pictures of, of it on Instagram, and I'm just, like, drooling over it, like, oh, mm-hmm. my gosh. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. And yeah. the patties. <clears throat> and the patties, yeah. too. Oh, okay. People nice. love a patty, a good patty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... So you've decided to call it Liberty Plant-Based Cuisine, but it, initially it was Liberty by Twins, wasn't it? Yeah. What inspired you to change the name? Um, I just thought it just... I don't know. If we want to do more, like one okay. day we might want to do more and it's like just having it like by Twins, okay, yeah, it's our thing, but people know where the face is. You don't need to like yeah. have it in the name if you know what I mean. Gotcha. Yeah, so like people one. already see that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like it's not really needed to be in there. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so what would you say about like working together? Obviously, siblings, twins. <laughs> is that is that a good <laughs> dynamic? Because in my mind, I think I would love to have someone else, yeah, you know, yeah supporting yeah. me and like you know, it definitely, definitely helps. Like I'm yeah. just like, I wish everyone had a twin to help <laughs> yeah. them. Someone on the same page as you, more than everything. Obviously, yeah. this time we have conflicting ideas and things like that, but yeah, yeah it's definitely definitely helps I don't think I could work with someone that wasn't family or wasn't my twin even yeah like, the imagine. same way we work together yeah yeah okay so then um when when you started obviously um at the markets what would you say what would you say was the biggest challenge of being at the market um it's in people to eat <laughs> yeah it's true because Croydon is a place where veganism is not really a thing like even for us we can't go to our local supermarket and just pick up like vegan cheese and right. vegan stuff like you've got to search for everything so okay. it's like we had a concept with necessarily I don't think necessarily the people were there yet mm-hmm. like so we've kind of had a process of having to make people understand why we're here yeah. and how them choosing to eat from us would benefit them because okay. literally just the area we're in is like I would say people are less well off Mm. And the eating habits, it's just full of chicken shops, like, okay. that kind of thing. So it was like, guys, try our food, yeah. trust me. <laughs> so it was more so of, like, a change in mindset. Though, this is it. Yeah. And, like, mm-hmm. what I always say to people, like, it's actually amazing because before we did this, we just thought, oh, okay, we're just going to feed people and just mm. pay, our, pay, our, pay our bills on time, that kind of <coughs> thing. But when you're there, you realise how much people appreciate you being there. And, like, most of our customers are non-vegans. Okay. But they come to us because they're trying to make that change. They're realising that, okay, I'm suffering from these health problems or I'm not feeling good. What is it that I can change? And if this is on the table, why not embrace it kind of thing? Yeah. So it's like changing people's opinions on what vegan, veganism is, what vegan food tastes like. Mm. Just because everyone's like, vegan food is bland. It's bland. It's salad. No, <laughs> no it's, not. it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. And like, we're proving them wrong because um, they come back over and over again. So That's so good. It's really nice to see. Yeah. People are like, oh my God, guess what? Like, my whole family is um, <laughs> eating vegans and buying from a whole family. You're like, yay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you'd say that you've definitely seen that change in people over mm-hmm. a period of yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. But at first, it was like... It was like, have you got just chicken? <laughs> 
I'm not eating that. That was literally really? it. Like, that's how it was. That's and now it's like, you know. oh, have you got jerk chicken? No, but do you want to try this? Oh, okay yeah. then. And then they'll, like, I can say 99% of the time, someone that comes for me mm. ends up like, ends up in the middle. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. So, what tips would you have for anyone who might be looking to start their own? What are sort of like the realistic things you have to look out for? Because some people think, oh, it's just easy, you know, you just yeah, like get yourself yeah. a pitch and you get going. But <laughs> set up. <laughs> Set up is the worst, I'm not gonna lie. Just, um, bring in a gazebo and all your gazebo, um, yeah. all your equipment from either storage or yeah. bag is hard work. So be ready to yeah. lift heavy stuff mm-hmm. and early mornings, late nights. Yeah. But it, it will all be worth it. All worth it. <laughs> all worth it, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So <laughs> and you, you get into a habit of thinking that, like, oh my god, if I leave if I leave my job or if I'm gonna do this, like everything's gonna fall apart. Mm-hmm. But it's really not. Like, yeah. I guess you find that you you're resourceful and you find the strength within yourself, mm-hmm. don't you? It's like, okay, I've left my job and I don't have a plan B right now, but that's it, exactly. You just have to like get mm-hmm, stuck in mm-hmm. and get it done, right? That's the yeah. only way forward. Only <laughs> way forward. <laughs> keep going at it. Isn't it? Yeah. Just keep. Keep going yeah. at it. When you're tired, when your body hurts, just keep doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, along with then, you know, building your brand and everything. Being online is such a big part of that. And you guys are really good at... One thing you're really good at, I notice, is being really consistent on, like, posting stuff and, like, keeping your all your followers, like, along with the journey yeah. to, like, see what you guys are up to, what's happening. Would yeah. you say, like, that's been a vital part? Yeah. I think so, because, like, you can see from where we started, where it was literally yeah. random posts every couple <laughs> of months and no one even knowing who ran it and yeah. things like that. And then just literally people advising us. That's one good thing about social media as well. People advise you. People being yeah. in your inbox and say, girls, maybe if you try this, maybe you try that. Da, 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 da. And I think that like, sometimes we think, oh, well, it's not their business. Leave me alone kind of thing. Yeah. But I feel like we should always learn from others. There's people that have already done this. Mm-hmm. So if you can, reach out. Or when others reach out to you, just... Yeah, be open to exactly, it. Exactly, because yeah. it makes a difference. It definitely <laughs> makes a difference. Like, people exactly. like a story. Yeah. Um, I feel like you go on some people's social media and all you see is food or all, all you see is their mm. face. or, they, But yeah. you don't really know what's going on. How did they get to where they got to? Yeah. What did they do previously? You don't know none of this. So it's, like, kind of hard to attach people, yourself yeah. to that. People yeah. are with us. It's like, oh, my God, girls, I can remember this. <laughs> and I remember that. And yeah. they're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, people like to see your, see your progress. and progress in that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, see how you're getting mm-hmm. along and everything. Exactly. Yeah. What would you say are like maybe the top advice that you've gotten from someone through social media, or maybe a couple that you've that stand um, out for you? Open up. Like, you said, like <laughs> the same time, literally, where so many things have gone wrong, our ovens are broke down. This mm-hmm. has happened, and like you have people saying, "Guys, I know this has happened, but think about what can you do? Who can? Yeah. Who's? Whose equipment can you borrow? Who things can you think?" And we've gone to an event where we had literally counted it off the day before. Like, we're like, "Nope, we're not doing it. It's oh, all wow. too much." Really? And someone just said, "Like, girls, you got this, isn't it? Like, yeah. <laughs> get <rid of> <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Go to your mom's house, use her stuff, and get it done." And like, we did it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah people. Yeah. Yeah. So you found like the community is generally quite welcoming mm-hmm. and quite mm-hmm. helpful. Definitely. In general, yeah. Okay. Can you say then like just a few quick words on just the state of the vegan community at the moment? I know you guys have been quite opinionated about a few things yeah. about, you know, the fact that it could be a lot more div- um, inclusive than it is right now. What are your yeah. quick thoughts on that? Would you say? Do you think it's going in a, in the right direction now? Yeah, I think it it definitely is. Yeah. But I feel like what's missing is a collective. Like, so I see a lot of people mm. doing their own thing. Yeah. But I feel like we should try and get together a lot more. Yeah. Um, to just showcase what we do because I feel like you go to a lot of places. Um, vegan events and I don't see anyone that represents me that represents you yeah. it's a rarity so I feel like if we came together as a united create, force, create our own events yeah <laughs> basically things like because and another thing when I speak to people like just everyday people that are not necessarily clued up about veganism as a whole they just think like they don't do someone said to me black people ain't vegans they're just oh. not they're just not and you get it all the time it's like is it their fault to think that or is it because what's shown to them or yeah. what's What's available? Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like by doing that, you bring in a lot more people that are just that just wouldn't normally turn to veganism. That's mm-hmm. what I feel like. We've like 
when we speak to people, they, they always ask us, oh my God, like, you guys are like the ni- nicest vegans I've ever met, like, yeah. you don't judge us, you don't tell us this, <laughs> you don't tell us that, like, it's all encouragement. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's a lot, there's a lot of judgment and a lot of, like, putting your nose up, like, you're better than somebody or mm. stuff like that, where Absolutely. I feel like you just need to just bring it down a level and just say, yeah. listen, Meet I think people this is, where they are. Yeah, exactly. that's it. Yeah. And that approach... I feel it's so much more beneficial. It's like, I get people say to me, like, oh, um, you just, you don't mind, do you? Like, when someone says to our customers, like, oh, I'm going to have curry goat later. Like, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay then. Or she'll be like, oh, I'll be back tomorrow, though, for my lunch. And I'm like, for me, that's a good thing. Yeah, but a lot of people will turn around and be like, <laughs> why, you, but why do you have to go home and eat curry goat? Yeah. But it's like, if I turned around and said that to her, would she come back to me? Would she, I feel like she wouldn't. She wouldn't, no. So for me, this way, <coughs> it works better in my eyes yeah because that's it's kind of like we've tested it and it's kind of proven like yeah. just take the nice approach not even the nice approach just be you like and people will warm to you and just yeah. advise them rather than judge them I like that yeah, yeah it's yeah. so refreshing to hear that like so many vegans I've met who are like just so hard lined it's like my way or no way exactly. you know and there's no kind of middle ground meeting people halfway mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. being like you're making the effort and that's at least something right this exactly. is it yeah and I've, like and people like they don't believe that like, there's a there's an issue because I remember when we first started out and we went to a couple of vegan um, events hmm. and people there's people that I know who they are now at the time I didn't know who they were yeah. and the comments that were made like oh Jamaican vegans swear down that's a thing kind of like and we just walk away <laughs> look at you look at your product and just walk away and I can tell you something from now those same people who had those yeah. um, things would then turn around and put. African or Caribbean food on their menu, on their but menu, when you food. when we were there doing it, yeah. you were like, "What's this? <laughs> What's this? Who are you?" Like kind of thing. So it's like it's very important for us to just stand up and say, "Like this is because awesome. we could have said, forget this, we ain't gonna do those events no more, mm-hmm. but we're gonna keep on going and keep on putting yeah. ourselves on the map because it's important." Like, so yeah. yeah, yeah, very good, very good. So then, uh, just rounding up, then what's in the pipeline? Or liberty plant-based cuisine what do you kind of see yourself doing you know in the next few years going forward are you like forward planners or do you just go with the flow <laughs> um well the ultimate goal is to open up a, uh, the oh, first yeah. caribbean cafe in croydon okay. that is like the ultimate goal well in between that it's just about literally spreading ourselves out a bit we're, we've mm-hmm. established ourselves in croydon now so i feel like the next step would be to go to other markets yeah. and set up different at least maybe two more Hopefully in South London because we want to stay south of the river mm, for now. Okay. Um, yeah, and just see how that goes. Really. And you know, try to do like supper clubs and stuff yeah. like that because we know that it's very like it's hard for people to get to us. Mm-hmm. That we've got short opening hours and we want to kind of have places where people can say, "Do what? I'm going on the weekend. I'm going to go over a group of friends and I'm yeah. going to chill and things." So that's the next thing that we're looking at. Nice. Like, yeah. You've heard it, guys. Check out yeah. their supper clubs when <laughs> it comes coming, out. Coming. When it comes. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. where can people find you? Um, what are your social media handles? Like, where are you most active? Where people can kind of keep up to date with what's going yeah. on with you? Uh, so, I'll say best place to find us would be Instagram, and that's mm. Liberty Plant Based Cuisine. Um, if you would like to come down and taste some more food, we're yeah. in the Croydon Surrey Street Market, um, Wednesday to Friday, 11.30 to 4 pm. Great. Any last words? <laughs> And if you um <laughs> if you got an idea, go for it. <laughs> yeah, actually, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, yeah. You heard it, guys. Do it. You know, like if you have the passion, the drive, and you put in the hard work, then you know you can achieve exactly. pretty much what you want to achieve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So thank you guys for being on my channel. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.